This is medical physics question um, 5 on 2004. Um, this is a question about the endoscope. It says optical imaging by means of a flexible fiber optic endoscope is an important diagnostic tool in medicine. The endoscope may also be used for minor surgical procedures. Draw a label diagram to show the important parts of a flexible fiber optic endoscope. So I'm just going to draw what you had in your notes. Um, and it shows an eye here and then there's an eye piece and it's part of this fairly large structure here and this part here then is the, the actual endoscope itself if you leave that quite thick it's got a little lens at the end called an objective lens um, and then down here you would have the part of the endoscope where the light is being passed through Okay, so it's something like that. I'm going to draw two sets of fibres. The first one, um, I draw them in two different colours. The first one's red. And this is where the light has been passed in. I haven't drawn this too well, but... And it shouldn't overlap with... Okay, so there's the light going in. And then the body part, I'll draw this in green, coming back out again. So this is a reflected light coming back out again along a different bundle of fibres and it goes to the eye then. Okay, so what you need to do, you can also put in other tubes in there, but what you need to do is to label those fairly, that would be fairly essential there. Um, so you have got here, this is a, um, this is a bundle and it's an incoherent bundle and again we'll have to explain that in a minute. Um, of fibres and so this transmits light into the body so make sure you label anything you draw and then this is your coherent bundle and that's for the reflected light passed along. In the mark scheme, there was a mark scheme for this and it gave two marks. These two were essential here in your endoscope or else I think you probably didn't get anything at all. Um, but then they said you could, for your third mark, what you could do is you could label your eyepiece lens. They said you could call that a computer actually. Um, you could label your objective lens and that's also called the distal tip. They also said you could add a couple more channels in here and you could have had a channel for water and a channel for instruments. Um, so any three there would have got you your three marks. Part B of the question, the terms coherent and non-coherent or incoherent are applied to parts of the endoscope. To which parts of the endoscope do the terms apply? Um, so they, they apply to the fibre optic bundles along which light travels. Okay, so there are the fibre optic bundles which allow the light to be passed into the body and then the light to move out of the body again. Explain the terms and their significance in this context. So we'll explain non-coherent first. Now what that means is that the bundle of fibres along which the light passes into the body aren't in any specific order because it doesn't matter where the light comes from when it gets down to the body. That doesn't matter as long as the light is being passed down. To, say it was your stomach and you were looking at a stomach ulcer or something. So this is a bundle of fibres or bundle of fibres, fibre optics obviously, which transmit light into body. And they are not in any specific. The word order is a very good word to use in there. Um, so coherent then, and like the above there, again this, you, well, you can't see, I'll just move it up. 
quality of written communication mark. So just be careful that you're writing in proper sentences. The coherent bundle then is a bundle of fibres which allow trans which allow reflected light from inside the body. travel to the um, eyepiece lens. They are very carefully ordered. It just means that they are in perfect, you know, if you have a one there and one here and one here that the light coming into them, each of them is coming out in the same order that it's going in. So if you have light coming from a body part here, that means that the light travelling along that red wire is end up directly above this part of the body that's been looked at and so on. You can't see that. You can see it now. And light above coming out of the, the body into the green one is hitting up here and all. It just means that everything's in perfect order up here. So they're very carefully ordered so that light from every part of the object I'm going to call it the body part of body I'll just say body um, corresponds to same position on image so the problem would be if you had one of those fibres twisted and I'll maybe draw it in a different colour. I'll just say that, the, can, I don't know if you can see, this is an orange one here. It's very too close to the red, but, and it was twisted so that it was coming out up here. Then the person who's looking at this sees this part here, but it actually corresponds to over here. And it doesn't make sense then, and the, the image will be distorted. Uh, state one example of the use of the endoscope for a diagnostic purpose. So it's used for examinations. And it could be of any body part of the esophagus, stomach, bile, colon, even the liver, and so on. And they all have um, particular names. And that's the end of that question, and that was 2004. Now that's the last time that they asked a question just on the endoscope alone. Nowadays, most of the questions have got much more, they're much more bitty, and they have a wee bit of this and a wee bit of that on them.